Hey guys, welcome. Recently picked up these new power grabs from Matchbox. This is a new item that's similar to the mystery models that Hot Wheels has. Now I picked up all of the 11 releases except for number 8. Number 8 was picked up by probably a collector who knew that there was a Volkswagen in there. Most definitely that's the case. Uh, there was two boxes of these power grabs and um, I went through all of them and I tried to get one of each and I did and I actually picked up a few extras of some other ones. Now I had a box but I didn't realize that the manager actually took it from me when he was cashiering but I got these at Toys R Us and they run for a dollar and nine cents. So let's take a closer look and see what's inside these. I actually finally started designing a phone stand kind of similar to what I had for my camera before. I don't have it handy but I'm going to start using this. So let's take a closer look and we'll start with number one. Finally I can do some hands free recording but here let's take a closer look. Now. Power grabs are similar to how Hot Wheels has their mystery models. The number here tells you what it is. Sorry for the bad lighting. But as you can see, it says C, so it's from a C, or is that G? A G from the G case, G51, and then uh, number one. So this is number one. The difference is it does not tell you on the back. What, what model it is exactly, just like how Hot Wheels does. But, um, I mean, it is what it is, right? So let's unbox this. Or, unpack. First model, we have Turn Tamer. It's a pretty cool little model. Pretty cool. I think I'm going to switch sides to get a better light. A little bit better. Not the best lighting. Now, the reason why I picked these up actually <clears throat> is first off, I think this is unique. I uh, collect some mystery models. Actually, the ones I know I want. And uh, for Matchbox, actually, this is actually very, very cool packs to pick up. First off, you get some cars in here that, you know, you don't have to like these cars. I, I'm going to hand them off to somebody in my family who will appreciate them. But from what I want to say is um, I'm actually collecting these for the Toys R Us Matchbox exclusive. You can read about that on the Matchbox website. Now, number two. Number two. Yep. Well, I'm going to mess around with the focus and try to get it. Next, we have the Mini Dozer. Now, I kind of looked around under the model. Couldn't find anywhere where it said it. But, luckily, it says it in the back of it. This is a pretty cool model. I'm not 100% sure, but I did read that something... Ah, uh, come on. Something in this power grabs are exclusive. Not all of them, but some of them are. I don't know how many exactly. But this is a pretty cool little model. Either way, uh, if you get extras of these, I don't think it's... Too much of a deal. You can uh, start a construction company or something. But one issue I have with this model is that the arm for the buckets on one side. Not a too big fan of that. Next is number three. Cliffhanger is number three. It's actually a pretty cool model. I don't know if I have any of them in my collection. This isn't something I would regular pick up on a regular basis. But um, in this case, to show you guys what's out there, I don't mind. I'll pick some up. And I'm very sorry about the lighting, guys. 
Um, I'm doing this at a different time of the day, so the lighting is a little bit off. It's pretty cool. Very nice detail. Very cool. Very nice. If I haven't shown you guys, there is actually a little window here that you can peek through, but I mean, not always will you see. Number four. Next is the Lamborghini Legardo police vehicle. This is actually a very famous, very popular actually among collectors. Um, you won't see this casting sitting on the pegs too long. And, uh, I, you know, it's not a bad model. And I, I picked up a few extras. Um, I'm probably going to keep the other ones in their package, but... I mean, it's not bad, not bad. Pretty cool model. Actually, I stand corrected. Number five is the Volkswagen. So, whatever was number eight, somebody picked up. But this is actually a pretty cool casting, I will not lie. Really like it. Very nice. Like the decals on the side of it. I kind of really want to know what number 8 is now. But it is gone. That's for sure. Pretty cool. I like the metal flake paint. It gives a nice shine to it. Blue and the white rims. That goes nice too. Number 6 is Blaze Blitzer. Picked up a few extra of these. And if you want to think about why I picked up a few extras. Just, just, you know, if you guys ever wonder why. Possibly, maybe a future station. But this is a pretty cool casting. This looks like a uh, European firebrand. I keep forgetting the name of it. Um, keep forgetting the name of it. But it kind of looks like the one... I gotta try to remember the name. If I ever do. It's pretty cool. I don't know, I like this, I don't know if this by any chance might be the exclusive for this pack. Very nice casting, um, I can't complain about it. Pretty cool. But I did pick up a few extra of these. Pretty cool, I like it. Next is the, I forgot to look, Load Lifter. But my favorite is this one my favorite? Yep, with my favorite decal, the ink construction. Pretty cool. Really like this model. Um, there's actually a few different forklifts over the years that um, Mattel Matchbox has made. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future of the ones I actually have. It's pretty cool. Really nice load lifter. Pretty cool. This one was actually in the singles. Very nice. No number 8, but here's number 9. Badlander. It's pretty cool. Very nice. I have to hurry up because I don't have that much time left on my uh, card over here on my phone. I'll end up making a new file and cutting this video off. So I gotta delete some stuff off my phone. Number 10 is Blockade Buster. Pretty cool. This one actually is one that I really, really wanted because I want to start a Matchbox military. Awesome. This thing does spin. Last is number 11, this four-wheeler. I keep forgetting the name, and it's not under the vehicle itself. But it's a pretty cool casting. There we go. 4x4. Four four. Once I... Uh, get everything I'll do a video again to kind of show what number 8 was but thank you guys for watching like subscribe thank you